good afternoon dear nursing officers today we'll discuss about the abgar score okay so this abgar score was developed by the dr virginia abgar okay who was developed this dr virginia abgar so when he was developed means in the year of 1952 in the year of 1952 this score was developed by the dr virginia abgar so this abgar score is very important to assess the newborn baby okay to know to know the newborn baby status vital organ status we can identify with this abgar score okay so here not only the uh, one function of the baby like uh, we can assess the uh, under abgar score we can assess the uh, uh, appearance uh, pulse rate and grimace and uh, activity and respiratory effort so these five elements we will assess under uh, these five parameters meters will assess under the abgar score okay so by that we can know the baseline data of the newborn baby okay so how to assess and when to assess and what is the time period to assess this abgar score we will see now okay so this abgar score should be assessed within 1 minute after birth within 1 minute after birth we should assess the abgar score and then after again we need to repeat after 5 minutes so why it is important means so you to know the neonatal outcome first we can know about uh, by assessing we can able to know that neonatal outcome and then after we can assess the cerebral and we can also came to know that how the cerebral function of the baby also we can assess okay so first one minute we need to assess and again after five minutes also we need to be assess the abgar score of the baby so total score of abgar is that 10 what is the total score of the abgar score is that 10 so this is the score for abgar score so here what all the parameters included and how to assess this we will see now so under abgar score so there is a points okay there is a point there are points so according to, according to the reaction of the baby we will give the score okay so here first if we want to be assess the abgar score okay abgar score first appearance we will see means color of the baby how the baby looking like whether she is in the blue color or like the pink color if the baby in blue color that indicates baby has a cyanosis that means for so she has something major or vital organs compromising right so there is no proper gases exchange so there is a decreased oxygen supply in the blood so we, if you want to be know that so we will assess the appearance of the baby what is the color of the baby like whether blue or a pale color or pink color if the baby in blue color that indicates baby has a cyanosis so there are two types of cyanosis are there there so those are the acrocyanosis and central cyanosis so acrocyanosis means what if the baby extremities are in blue color and body in pink color so that we call it as the acrocyanosis and when comes to the central cyanosis if baby lips in the pink uh, blue color and uh, body in pink uh, sorry blue color baby lips in blue color and body in blue color and extremities in pink color we'll call it as a central cyanosis so that we need to assess whether the baby has a central cyanosis or acrocyanosis so here uh, if the score like a baby in blue color completely or pale color we will give the score like zero and one point where we will give means if the baby body will be in pink color and extremities in blue color so that indicates which kind of cyanosis is that so it is a like uh, blue, blue color means acrocyanosis right so baby under acrocyanosis is that so in that case we will give the score like 1 so if the color of the baby is like pink color then we can go with the score like 2 okay so here so that is the score and next to pulse so while assessing the pulse we should know the normal pulse of the newborn baby so what is the normal pulse of the newborn baby is like so 120 to 160 beats per minute so this is the normal pulse of the baby so while assessing the baby pulse so most probably we will assess the carotid pulse of the baby or brachial pulse of the newborn baby so here while assessing we need to check for whether the pulse rate and rhythm is there or not if absent we will give the score like 0 and below 100 then we can go give the score like 100 okay and then after if the score is like above 100 so can give the score like 2 and then after grimace so grimace means what so here we are assessing the reflexes 
how the uh, like reflex means what the how the response towards the stimuli we will not uh, check within the client so here alertness of the child we are assessing for example if we are uh, doing the suctioning to the baby so immediately what the baby will do she will cry right she will cry out or she will sneeze or she will cough so those things we will assess under this grimace okay reflexes we will notice so floppy or uh, means zero we will give and uh, minimal stimulation minimal minimal response towards the stimuli we can give the score like one and prompt response immediate after doing uh, giving stimulus immediately the response came from the child then we can give the score like two and then activity so muscle tone we will check here so here hypertonic or the hypotonic we can assess the uh, the muscle tone of the child so if there, there is a there is no tone means pla placid uh, tone tones if you are noticing in the child so we can give the score like uh, zero and flexed arms and legs so while flexing and uh, extension of the hands how it will be occur means based on the muscles yes or no so these muscles uh, with the help of the muscles and bones we can have this flexion and extension so if you are a uh, uh, baby can able to flex if you are doing the flexion to the child so if it is happening well then we can give the score one if more than that if more active uh, active flexion and extension is there then we can give the score like two and next respiration so absent so respiration uh, respir under respiration what we will assess means respiratory effort here we will assess the respiratory effort of the baby so absent means we will use the score zero and the slow and irregular respiratory effort is there score, score one we will give and vigorously she is crying means then we can use the score like two okay so this is the these are the normal these are the parameters of the abdur score so we will see for the score interpretations okay so normal score or total score we have seen that is 10 if the baby while as, after assessing if you got the score like 8 to 10 5 to 7 3 to 4 0 to 1 0 to 2 so what all the interventions we should provide as a nursing officer we will see now so no distress so when we, we can call it as a no distress means if the score is between like 8 to 10 so that indicates baby is normal so nothing to worry about the baby and she is normal so we can handle it to the mother okay we can hand over uh, hand over that baby to the mother if the score is between 5 to 7 so there there must be a nursing interventions are required to the baby so what the interventions we can provide if the score is between 5 to 7 means so first what we need to do we need to stimulate the baby okay so what we need to do we need to stimulate the baby so how to stimulate the baby means uh, flicking sole or rubbing back okay by rubbing back and flicking sole by these two methods by these two steps we can stimulate the baby so this stimulate indicates that water so there will be initiation of the respiration will be takes place right and next to suctioning so suctioning also we should do so suctioning so how to do the suctioning and how much pressure should be applied to, according to the gestational age of the baby is like if the baby is like preterm baby so how much pressure should be applied means 80 to sorry 40 to 60 mm of hg if the baby is dumb, so we will provide uh, like pressure is like 60 to 80 and if the baby is post term, okay, post term means we will provide the suction pressure is like 80 to 100 mm of Hg. So these are the normal pressures, these are the normal pressures to do the suctioning according to the gestational age. So how much time we should continue for the suctioning is like 5 to 10 seconds only. So this time, so if 5 seconds for the preterm and 10 seconds for the term baby, we will uh, do the suctioning. Okay, before doing the suctioning, hyper oxygenation is very important. Before doing the suctioning and uh, after doing suctioning, hyper oxygenation. That means what we need to administer the oxygen before and after procedure. So very important to the baby. Okay. So and then after what we can do after doing suction. Why we are doing suction means to clear the respiratory airway. Right. So the mucus which is there accumulated inside of the respiratory tract that we are clearing with the help of the suctioning. Then after we can administer the oxygen like 5 liters per minute. How much? So 5 liters per minute the oxygen will be administered to the 
child okay okay so these are all the basic interventions we will follow if, uh, if the baby has a mild distress so next we will go with the moderate distress. So under this moderate distress, what are the nursing intervention should be provided to the baby? So here if the score is between 3 to 4, okay? So immediately we have to do the suction, okay? So same suctioning we will do and stimulating the baby also very important. And then after oxygen administration, okay? How many liters we should provide? 5 to 8 liters per minute. How many liters? 5 to 8 liters per minute we will provide. And then, then after we need to intubate the baby, okay? If the baby condition is not getting progress, so then what we have to plan? So we have to plan for the intubation, okay? Intubation. So these are the interventions we will follow under this moderate distress. If the baby has, and here what we can go with the, like IPPD, like intermittent positive pressure ventilation also, we will uh, provide the baby. And then after, if the baby has a severe distress, so if the baby has severe distress, we should, we are not going for any among these all, like the suctioning and that all, we will not prefer. First we will prefer with the resuscitation. What we will do immediately, we will resuscitate the baby, okay. So this is the first and foremost step if the baby has a 0 to score, okay. 0 to 2, zero to two score if she has, so immediately we need to start with the neonatal resuscitation, okay. And then after, so what we can go with that, like intubation of the baby. So we will intubate the baby and we will check for the heart rate of the baby, okay. After the heart rate of the baby, we will check for 30 seconds, okay. After up to 30 seconds, we need to assess for the heart rate of the baby, okay. So if uh, after that, if the baby heart rate is not getting increased, then we can prefer with the injection epinephrine. Injection epinephrine, we will give it to the, give to the baby. So this injection is, which is working further, it is activate the sympathetic nervous system, right? So it, 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 what it will do, it will increase the heart rate. What this epinephrine or adrenaline injection, what it will do, it will in, uh, in, uh, like it will increase the heart rate, increase the heart rate. So what is the normal dose of this epinephrine is that? What is the normal dose? So here I am writing 0 0.1 to 0 0.3. Mg per ml. So this is the normal dose of the epinephrine. So available dose of epinephrine is that 1 is to 10,000 and concentration dose or, or advised dose is like administration dose is like 1 is to 10,000. So exam point of view these three points are very important. Normal dose of the adrenaline is that 0 0.1 to 0 0.3 Mg per ml and next uh, 1 is to 1000 is the available dose and 1 is to 10,000 is the administration dose. So here we will take the 0 0.1 ml of uh, um, one, 1 ml of the adrenaline and the remaining 1% we will take the, okay. So this is about the adrenaline injection. So for what we are using this adrenaline injection means to increase the heart rate, okay. To increase the heart rate. So this epinephrine should be uh, repeat every after every five minutes. Up to three doses we can administer this epinephrine to the child to increase the heart rate. Okay. So these are the, the different the interventions according to the observed score. Clear? So and uh, no, if baby no distress means severe. So eight to ten score means so nothing to do for the baby. Five to eight, uh, five to seven will call it as a mild distress, and three to four moderate distress, and zero to two is the severe distress. Okay. This are the, uh, this is about completely about the upgrade score. So thank you. So please do subscribe and like the channel. And if you want to be get the more information, so you can purchase the course. So the MCQs explanation and uh, uh, one more is that uh, crash course also we are going to be start with, uh, from the January 1st. So please try to join and uh, okay. So get your goal done. So thank you. We'll continue tomorrow.